But the show has elements of Lords of the Lord of the Flies, but of course it's it's, it's a film, female driven drama with young girls from different backgrounds who all face real traumas. How important for you guys was it to be able to highlight these issues? I'm just so important. Um, I think I can't really think of uh, a show that highlights this time frame uh, in in a young woman's life so with a, sort of an unapologetic approach of di digging into the the ugly truths of what this time can bring you know you're really finding yourself from you know when you're 17 years old um so it was important and I felt very lucky to be able to be a part of a show that I felt like sort of broke new ground in this way and relied on a cast of all women to tell that story I loved how um, authentic every single character was. And I loved being able to see in every single character, you know, um, myself and other, my friends of mine and family members that have gone through similar stuff that these girls have gone through. And it made me really excited to be a part of the storytelling so that people can watch this and just feel a sense of like, I don't know, validation is the right word, but a certain sense of like, you know, seeing themselves rep represented and not feeling like they're crazy or out of place and just, you know, you know, making it clear that this is normal and that it's not like people aren't alone. I think that's really important to me. Also, you've also, there's so many different personalities and characters with, that working together. Um, was there any point, you know, there was, there's bound to be a few, you know, um, should we say disagreements on set <laughs> or did you all get, or was it big loving? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think we were, I was expecting it to be like, I was expecting it to be like, oh, there's going to be some disagreements. There's going to be some, some problems. Eight girls will know, you never know. Blah, blah, blah. Um, but we got along really, really well. And I think we needed each other because we were each other's support system being on this island a long way from home. Um, so we really lent on each other and trusted each other a lot. Um, so I think, yeah, I think the only thing that we were kind of upset with was the weather and just the beach itself. <laughs> Yes, I second that. I mean, now after we wrapped, like some of my best friends are now scattered throughout the world. So it, it mm. was it was a really great experience working with everyone. And mm. also, did this experience, you know, uh, open your eyes to a few more survival, essential survival skills? I think so. I think if I was trapped on an island, if you'd like throw me onto an island before filming this show and then after, I think it would have been two very different experiences. Um, I'm not really exactly sure how or why but I guess the sense of like I could do this is now instilled in me where it wasn't beforehand. I think what I learned is uh to get comfortable with like being uncomfortable being cold mm -hmm. being wet uh, I mean you don't want to be wet when you're cold and stranded um I know that uh but mm -hmm. yeah I feel like it just got me used to shivering and being covered in sand and still having to do the thing um mm. yeah okay also your, your both of your characters also you know you you touch on your issues are like around uh, surrounded by love sexuality uh religion um but these issues took you your characters down some dark roots at times how do you prepare for that it depended on the on the scene it depended on the content of the work that i was doing on the day um, sometimes it was, um, you know, listening to certain music, um, getting myself into a physical state that made me feel, um, anxious or whatever I needed, however I needed to feel in that moment. Um, yeah, I guess, I, I guess, I guess it depends, but, um, just putting yourself in that, in those shoes and, you know, finding ways that, that it were related to me and finding a key points that made me like trigger points for me kind of how I yeah I think this the script really helped out in in laying out these characters uh you know rise and and their falls um and I think you know all of these girls who are stranded on these on the island there's a sense of loss you know a loss of a of a past life um a loss of a lover um and I feel like that is really a, a universal truth that hit home for me and something that I could tap into when necessary of, you know, it's just this, sort of the sinking feeling that that I think we all know a little too well. And I think that's a lot of where Leah and these girls operate from. Well, thank you very much for your time today and good luck with the show. I loved it. <laughs>
Thank you oh, for watching. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice.